I knew if I was going to be making this move, going all the way from Texas to Virginia, I needed to find a writing community that was family oriented. There's a lot of different voices, a lot of different people from different walks of life. They go through the same experience that you're going through, and so they can share their experiences with you. The program didn't just improve my writing. It gave me the confidence to realize that I could edit, I could teach. How do we develop characters? How do we, you know, make people find themselves? How to write a paragraph, how to write a story, how to write a chapter, how to write a memoir, how to write an essay. They teach you all that stuff. But I've learned how to get out of my own way. I've learned how to be myself on the page, really. That was the first time in my life that I felt I belonged somewhere. The story doesn't change, but the way you tell it does. I was looking for a program that I felt promoted inclusivity as well as diversity and uh, family, most importantly, for all, for all students and all writers, regardless of race, gender, sexuality, etc. I think one of the most important aspects for me is kind of the diversity, being accepted as Hispanic and having a different voice. My first semester, the first day, I was terrified because I had been wanting to do this for so long. I was like, oh no, what if they find out I'm an imposter? But it's been really awesome. The teachers have been really supportive. Um, I've been in the writing center as part of my assistantship, and so I've learned a lot of how to teach other people how to write, so it's been a lot of fun. The area itself is a wonderful area. It's surrounded by water. We're living near Virginia Beach. It's like a melting pot. It's, things are so transient in Norfolk. There's a lot of support in the program for all of the students in it. The faculty are the number one reason my experience was so positive. I was familiar with Janet Perry's work and I was familiar with Sherry Reynolds' work and um, I felt that if these two people are here then the other faculty and staff involved must also be just as wonderful and just as big of advocates for inclusivity as well and so that's why I ultimately decided to come to ODU. Here at Old Dominion University the program appealed to me because it had a Writers in the Community uh, program it also had a literary journal that I would be able to work on, Barely South Review. Uh, the program also had the visiting writer, the writer in residence, and it also has the literary festival, which is an annual festival that happens. And all these opportunities really appealed to me because not all of the MFA programs across the nation have all of this. I recently got published in KY Lavender Story and it was for emerging LGBT writers. And I think having that published in that anthology and it being the first of its kind was probably one of the most rewarding moments for me. I wrote and had published a couple of novels. So I feel like all of this really, the seeds for it started during my time at Old Dominion. And I would go there again if I could. I would not change a thing. I feel like I grew to not only as a writer, but as a person. And I'm really proud of that work and proud that as a professor, I can continue that work that was inspired when I was an MFA student. I'm just enjoying every minute of it and I'm so happy that I'm getting to write. <laughs> it's been a hell of a ride. <laughs> I wouldn't trade it for anything.